Okay, everybody, this lesson will get you ready for solving uh, quadratics. So um, the last three sections in our in our textbook, so actually the last four sections here. So uh, solve this one here, you guys. So on this one, divide both sides by 36. Sorry, I'm, I, I, um, I've, this is number one, you guys, and then I, I actually put this on there, and I, I didn't realize that this was number one. Anyway, so this is still number one. So divide both sides by 36, you guys. And then we're going to square root both sides. Don't forget your plus or minus, you guys. And the square root of 81 over the square root of 36. So the square root of 81 is 9. The square root of 36 is 6. And then 3 goes into both of these numbers. 3 goes into this 3 times. And then the 6 2 times. So plus or minus 3 halves. Now you could have reduced it right here. You know, 9 goes into both these numbers. But it's a little harder to see right there. And so if you did that, you'd get... Uh, 9 fourths, and then when you square root of 9 fourths, you still get the same answer, plus or minus 3 halves, okay? All right, so this one here, um, I would go ahead and subtract 11 on both sides, so I'm, I'm just saving time here, you guys. This lesson took me a couple of hours to build, so this is just saving me some time instead of clicking all the way through. So subtract 11 on both sides, you get 24, so x is going to be plus or minus. Don't forget your plus or minus, you guys. The square root of 24, and here's 24 broken down over here. It's 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, so a pair of 2's come out, and the leftover 2 times 3 stays inside, so plus or minus 2 root 6, okay? All right, this one here, you're going to divide both sides by 7 first, you guys, and then so 56 divided by 7 is 8, and then we square root both sides. Don't forget your plus or minus, and 8 uh, breaks down to 2 times 2 times 2, okay, and a pair of 2's come out, okay, and then now we're going to go ahead and add 3 to both sides, so when we add 3 to both sides, there's our final answer, 3 plus or minus uh, square root of 2. I know I'm going fast, but my kids have these notes already. Um, so, uh, anyways, you can pause it down over here. Just click the video, and it'll pause, and you can rewind it and all that stuff, okay? All right, so solve by completing the square. So you're going to have a handful of these on your test, just like this, you guys. So first thing we do to complete the square is we add out this C right here. So we're going to go minus 3, minus 3, and put it on that side over there, okay? And then we take half of 14. Half of 14 is 7. 7 squared is 49. So I'm going to add a 49 there and a 49 there. And I think if I remember right, yeah, I did that right there. Half of uh, uh, 14 is 7. 7 squared is 49. So that's the number that we add to both sides. And then what happens is this, this is a perfect square trinomial. This always factors to a binomial squared x times x gets us x squared, and 7 times 7 gets us 49. So this trinomial factors to this right here. Go ahead and add these two to get 46, and now we square root both sides. And don't forget your plus or minus, okay? So then we're going to add 7 to both sides, and we get uh, 7 plus or minus square root of 46, all right? Now 46 is 2 times 23. Nothing comes out because 23 is prime, so it just stays as root 46. All right, this one here. Let's add out the 13 first. All right, now, we get a fraction on that one, but that's okay. Half of 21, here it is right here, half of 21 is 21 halves. Then we square 21 halves. 21 squared is 441. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, is 441. And then 2 squared is 4. So we're going to add this number to both sides, 441 over 4. Okay, that's what we have right here. Okay, so half of 21 squared. Okay, and then we'll change this 13 over 1 to uh, over 4, you guys. So 13 over 1, if we multiply it by 4 over 4, 13 times 4 is 52. 1 times 4 is 4. So here's 13 right here, 54 over 2. Now we can add 52. I'm sorry, did I say 54? 52 over 4. Sorry. Now we can add 52 plus 441. We get 493 over 4. Okay, so now this is a perfect square trinomial x times x gets us x squared. 21 halves times 21 halves gets us 441 fourths. Okay, square root both sides. Don't forget your plus or minus right there. So when you square root a fraction, we square root the top and the bottom. So the square root of 4 is just plain old 2 right there. Okay, so now I have x minus 21 halves equals plus or minus root 493 over 2. Okay, now we're going to add 21 halves to both sides. So if we add 21 halves to both sides, there's a couple ways to write it, you guys. You can write it as 21 halves plus or minus root 493 halves. Or since they already both have the, the same denominator of 2, it's 21 plus or minus root 493 all over the same denominator, 2. Okay? All right, so let's try this one here. Okay, this one, <clears throat> got to add out C. Well, it's already added out, so we don't have to do that. 
So before we complete the square, this has to be a 1x squared. So I'm going to divide everything by 3. So when we divide everything by 3, we get a 1x squared. This divided by 3 is 2x, and this divided by 3 is 5. Okay, now we take half of 2. Half of 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1. So half of 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1. Okay, and then we add that to both sides. All right, and okay, now this factors to x minus 1 squared. This side equals 6. And then don't forget your plus or minus. So when you square root both sides, and then we add it out 1, and, and there's our final answer, 1 plus or minus root 6. Okay. All right, so solve using the quadratic formula. You'll have a handful of these on your test. Okay, so here's A. A is 1. B is negative 6. C is 10. Okay, so we're going to use the quadratic formula right there. So it's going to be opposite this negative 6. <clears throat> plus or minus the square root of negative 6 squared minus 4 times a times c. So that's what all this stuff is right here, all over 2a. Okay, this negative 4 times negative 10 is a positive, a positive 4 right there. Okay, so let's see, what did I make a mistake on? We have 4ac. So anyways, we add those together and we get, um, uh, I think that's supposed to be a 12 right there. That's what that's supposed to be, you guys. So Let's change that. That's supposed to be a 12. This is the one we did in class, so you guys know in class. This is supposed to be a, a 12, okay? So this is supposed to be a 12 right here. I'm sorry, you guys. So anyways, it's a rush today, big day today. All right, so there's my 48, you guys. 4 times uh, 12 is 48, so it gets me that. So 36 plus 48. Okay, and then you add those together and you get the square root of 84. So 6 plus or minus the square root of 84. And then 84 breaks down, you guys. 84 breaks down to, i got to change these guys back to 12 right here. So sorry. Uh, some of you guys are a little OCD. Me too sometimes. So that kind of bugs me. So <clears throat> here we go. Um, so 84, here's 84 broken down to 7 times 12, and 12 breaks down to 3 times 4, which is 2 times 2. So there's 12, or 84 right there. Okay, a pair of 2's come out right there, so this is going to be 6 plus or minus 2 root 21 all over 2. Now this happens only if this number goes into both of these numbers. If it does, we can go ahead and divide those, you guys. So when we divide those guys, um, we get... Uh, let's see, 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into this 2 once, into this 3, or into this 6 3 times. So 3 plus or minus 1 root 21. Um, and that's your answer. It's all over 1 right there. Okay, let me do this one last time here. Okay, uh, 12. All right, let's let's uh, let's do another one here. So here's one here. So uh, same, use the uh, quadratic formula. And uh, here we get a negative uh, 204 inside the radical when we do that. When we get a negative in the radical, Right there, that means no solution right there, okay? Can't have a negative in the radical. Now, when we get to Algebra 2, we'll start by dealing with imaginary numbers. But in Algebra 1, uh, this is a no solution guy right here. All right, so solve using any method. All right, on this one here, there is no bx on this one here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add 6 to both sides. And so we get uh, x squared equals 36, and then square root both sides. So x is the plus or minus. Don't forget your plus or minus. Plus or minus square root of 36, so plus or minus 6, because both 6 squared and negative 6 squared gets us 36. Okay, here's another one. Okay, now you can, it said solve using any method. Okay, there's factors of 45 that add to 18. This factors to um, uh, 15 times 3 equals 45, and 15 plus 3 equals 18. Okay, so factor that, you guys. It's the quickest, most efficient way. x plus 15, x plus 3 equals, um, equals 0. And then set x plus 15 equals 0, we get negative 15. Set x plus 3 equals 0, we get negative 3. Okay, factoring is the ticket, you guys. All right, this one here. There's no factors of negative 7 that add to 12. So here, since this is a 1x squared and this is an even number, then I would complete the square with this guy. So add the 7 to both sides and then take half of 12. Well, you can use the quadratic formula, but I wouldn't use this unless I had to, you guys. This cuts your time in half. Uh, completing the square. Half of 12 is 6. 6 squared is 36. So let's add 36 to both sides. Factor it and then square root. Don't forget your plus or minus part right there. So um, after you subtract 6 on both sides, so there it is. Negative 6 plus or minus root 43. All right, so here use the discriminant to tell whether there are two solutions, one solution, or no solution. Okay, so remember here's, here's how we use the discriminant. If b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, then there's two solutions. If it's equal to zero, there's no, there's uh, one solution. 
And if it's less than zero, then there's no solution. So here's A, here's B, here's C. We just want to know what is B squared minus 4AC. Here we get negative 4. That's less than zero. So this one's no solution right here. Okay, this one here, we do it again. Here, this one equals zero. So this one tells us that there's one solution. All right, you guys, good luck on your test tomorrow. Take care.